let's see the benefits of uh, collecting flows, both network flows as well as queue flows. We're going to be looking at this offense. Sensitive data in transit preceded by policy violations, social media containing web application JavaScript. So let's click on it and see. Well, <coughs> we see that apparently we th there's some restriction of using media that, that was, you know, violated that policy and there was some sensitive data sent. As we've done very many times, let's look at the rule that made this fire to understand what happened. So the first one is we see is policy violation. Let's click on it and see what it says. So, well, you know, when somebody inside my network goes out, see local to remote, and when the flow, again, looking at the poor, the traffic, the protocol, etc., matches that the application is web, and the host URL contains Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Google Plus, or MySpace. Okay, so that's when this uh, actual rule fires. Very good. Let's look at the other rule. There are two here. Sensitive data in transit. So we look at that one and see that, again, it's a local system, there is a web application, and when the source payload, look at that, that's the queue flow. We are looking at the content of the payload, and there's a reject that matches credit card number. So whenever we see a credit card going in the payload, we are going to uh, fire the, this rule. And, and this can be re uh, regex. You can actually modify this uh, rule in here to put any sensitive information that is the nature of your company, private information, you know, whatever it is, you can modify the regex and make it fire on that. Very good. So let's actually uh, look at the flows that were involved into this uh, particular offense. So if we actually click on any one of the flows, let's click on actually on this one. Oh, before I actually click on it, by the way, the, this red dot, in case that you wonder, uh, means that this particular flow contributed to an offense. And actually you can uh, click on, on the dot and that will take you to, the, to that particular uh, offense. So when we look in here, we see that the web application is uh, JavaScript, uh, and here is the payload. Let's see if we can actually see in the payload what it, well, we see that definitely this is uh, going to Facebook as part of the URL. And let's actually scroll down on the payload and see if we find the sensitive information. Uh, keep on scrolling down see if uh, there's any credit, uh, there, there it is credit card number is and here's the credit card number as it is and actually look uh, it's also before that there's actually a social security number we were not looking on that on, on this particular rule for that one but it also we can actually uh, uh, find it uh, in there if we will have uh, the, uh, the, the forensic module in store, we can actually uh, right click on the on the actual uh, IP and and actually uh, do a forensic to see in more detail everything he click email he sent chat he did you know everything that the actual person actually did.